Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another 2 Minute Tuesday. Last week, we talked about the new experience adding products into the opportunity and that also works for Quote and the other entities that you can add products to. But I want to show you a way to customize that even further. So remember, last week we talked about that if you go to Opportunity and you add a product in here, this grid-like you know, functionality opens up. But there's only a handful of columns. So you can see there's only four of them. The product itself, the unit, the price per unit, and the quantity. What if you wanted to see something else? Like maybe you wanted to see the ID of the product, although you kind of see it below here. But what if you like you didn't care about the unit, let's say, because everything is primary unit in this case. Like who cares what the unit is? I might want to see the cost say per unit. So instead of saying just 500, it would say it's 500 and the cost is 400. Maybe that would help me negotiate for a discount or know how far I can discount it. Anyway, you want to customize this grid, this table right here. So let me show you how to do that. Let's start the countdown and let's go. So I'm going to switch right here from sales back into app settings, just like we did before. Scroll down and go into the product catalog settings. Remember, we enabled this last week. And now look, you have a way to customize what those views look like when you're adding products through the opportunity or the quote or order or invoice. Those are the four entities that you can add products to. Now, the idea of having them separately is that you might want to see something for an opportunity and not necessarily the same thing for a quote or an order or whatever it is. That you might see the cost when you're on the opportunity level, but by the time you're putting the quotes together, that might not be a thing that you need. So anyway, let's customize one of them. In this case, I'm gonna click on the opportunity and notice that it goes directly into the view customizer and we have the four columns that we saw before. So in this case, I say, look, I really don't care about the unit, uh, but I am going to add something else, maybe the cost. What is the price per unit on that particular device? Now, again, this is a this is a uh, a public preview. This there's no data in here. This is all sample data, so there's no cost for any of these products. But let's pretend that there was a cost in here, and you can see that 500 is cost 400 or whatever it is. You can see the cost in there. So whenever you're done with that making your customizations, you can go ahead and publish it. By the way, you can also change the sorting order. So in this case, it's sorting by the existing product. But if you want to sort by, I don't know, by the price, like the most expensive thing up top or whatever, you can go ahead and do that. But uh, in this case, we're done with that. So let's go back into our uh, sales. We already published the view. Go to opportunities, open any opportunity in the system, go to products. This is the one that we were playing with last week. Now I'm going to go to add products. And as you can see, now the um, unit is no longer there. I don't have that primary unit. Now it has been replaced by the price, the quantity, and then the cost price per unit, just like we wanted. You can also show things like vendor and maybe the description, or maybe uh, show the discount. There's a field called volume discount, for example. It will tell you if they buy more than a thousand units, they get 10% off, whatever. We can display that information in here and then our salespeople can see it and use it when they're negotiating with a customer or maybe trying to put a quote together or whatever it is. The idea is to enhance this with data that is relevant to the users so they can do their jobs better and more efficiently. So I hope you enjoyed the tip this week and we'll see you next week.